In this video, we'll continue to work on our use case diagram. But before we do any, any more steps, uh, I would like to clarify that the use case diagram is not a requirements model. It is not a functional specification. It is only a helpful diagram that allows to visualize the set of use cases present in our system and therefore clarifies the interaction between these actors and specific use cases, their connections, which we're about to add. But in no way it substitutes the actual uh, text description of the requirements model, which have to uh, or has to include all of the specific steps within each specific use case in in the system. So let's continue. And now I can I think I can switch to a full screen view in my uh, UML editor, and uh, I can use control and sc uh, scroll the <clears throat> wheel on my mouse to to resize quickly this diagram. And what I like to do right now is um, rearrange uh, the bubbles. Uh, for instance, the customer actor. Uh, we identify the customer uh, being able to execute these use cases, uh, check schedule and check reservation. Uh, board flight is the airline staff. Substitute plane, notify customer. Mm, uh, these, uh, all of these are associated with an airline stuff, so I'm moving them down here. The ticketing agent, of course, is capable of executing make, make reservation use case. Um, cancel res reservation perhaps can be done on behalf of the customer. So, but this will be also done by the ticketing agent. Confirm reservation. I'll put this on the side right now or add to waiting list list. So these two will result in placement on the waiting list or on the list of confirmed reservations. If you recall, I had these two lists, waiting reservation list and confirmed reservations list. Add to waiting list and remove from waiting list. I'll keep them next to each other over here. So this can be also uh, rearranged a little bit for now. We'll just keep an eye on on these um, things. Uh, make payment. Make reservation. Make payment. Uh, schedule flight is another airline staff uh, related um, uh, use case. So let's walk over this a little bit. So here uh, we use um, an interaction line which allows to make a connection uh, between a specific uh, uh, actor and uh, and the use case. But before I add these connections, I also would like to uh, make sure that we add a note specifying what is this what is this diagram that we're trying to work on. I mean, it just at some point it becomes absolutely necessary to to be able to do this. So here, uh, this will be. Uh, this will be our um, airline reservation system use cases. Right, so this is what we're trying to uh, specify. And sometimes you can also add versioning to your uh, to your documents. So this would be like version 1.0. Right. So this is like an <clears throat> initial version of this diagram, and uh, we can keep multiple versions. So we can just keep it on the sideline somewhere here for now as we're still working on this diagram. And uh, here, just periodically make sure that you save it. OK, so let's go to our interaction connection. And uh, we can now make these connections uh, for, for these bubbles. So I'll just switch to selection and uh, rearrange uh, these bubbles a little bit to make it more or less readable. But there will be a series of rearrangements like this. So likewise, uh, our ticketing agent uh, can um, make reservation and can cancel the reservation. Now, <clears throat> so 
So let's now decide what we do with this re remaining set of bubbles right here. I think that um, making a reservation will result in either confirmed reservation or adding to a waiting list. So when you have this uh, possibilities that during the reservation uh, it may be either confirmed or be added to the waiting list, um, the proper choice to use uh, an extend. So an extend surprising. So an extend um, type of association in the use case diagram works like this. It indicates that these two things are optional during this use case. So that's the type of uh, association that you want to add to the system. Um, also, um, I think that uh, we can also identify make payment as another possibility uh, that, for instance, uh, uh, in, is included in making the reservation. So um, let's um, use another extend. And what extend does, it, it is used when the use case conditionally adds steps to another sort of like use case that we have over here. All right, so, so these are all uh, optional. So for instance, if we put the customer on a waiting list, we may not uh, require a payment. Or if we confirm the reservation, that we may require a payment. So this is just an example of the possibilities here cancel reservation i would i'm thinking that po possibly when we're canceling reservation we may also be uh, be able to issue a refund but uh, this way it's 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 uh, uh, it's not being mentioned in the original business uh, requirements so i'll just i'm not going to do this so canceling um, a reservation could also result in placing customer on a waiting list so we can we can again use the extension connection right here and when we have these crossed uh, uh, crossed uh, associations i prefer to rearrange them so that we avoid having as many as possible uh, cross lines which makes uh, the diagram more readable so the airline stuff can uh, certainly uh, we can associate uh, the airline staff with uh, customer notifications, with uh, substituting airlines, with boarding flights, and with scheduling, st scheduling a flight. So all of these possibilities are uh, available for, uh, for the airline staff. And uh, we can also um, use our credit company uh, uh, here example of a credit company that uh, possibly there there may be connection to making a payment I'm not sure exactly if this is uh, what we need in the system but just for an example using a secondary um, the secondary type of actor in the system we could have that uh, we could also possibly like I said if we want to issue a refund that would definitely be a, a use case for this for this actor in the system so it it still helps to have it and uh, if um, if this is the case sort of like an um, I, I may try to rearrange this one more time to uh, to, to move um, things out of the way a little bit more like this and and like this so that we have less uh, cross lines and more clarity um, in in our diagramming so now <clears throat> uh, substituting a plane could result in additional seats available and therefore this will definitely uh, may involve the situation where we are removing customer uh, from the waiting list and as a result we may be confirming a reservation giving condition that they already made the payment for example right so this could be another uh, another uh, indication right here so 
finally perhaps uh, one more connection uh, another extension uh, actually let me first move it a little bit and another uh, extension is that when we substitute an airplane and remove the um, <clears throat> the, res uh, the reservation from the waiting list we may also try to say that uh, the substitute airplane also involves c customer notification okay so these are um, use cases that I have so far over here in the system and I'm trying to arrange all of this uh, to, to make it look more or less uh, you know reasonable and readable <clears throat> and um, I'd like you to note that what I've used um, a lot in in this diagram is um, now I can perhaps move this comment also and then kind of align my actors because um, in violet you cannot create a box around these use cases but uh, normally that would be a good idea to to put um, you know using a different diagramming tool they would allow you to put a box around these use cases indicating the boundaries of the system which would em which would emphasize that um, the actors are outsiders to the entire system so each use case is a task implemented in the system and um, you can see that I've been using very extensively this extension so extension once again extension of a use case is when the use case conditionally includes another bubble so here um, these um, you see we're making a reservation and once again if there is a possibility that instead of being confirmed at the end of this process um, a customer reservation ends up on the waiting list we may not require a payment but we can offer to make them a payment and then in case when the when there is more seats available their uh, uh, reservation will be automatically confirmed under condition that they already made a payment or we can change the rules uh, if the business rules permit this we can also notify the customer and 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 uh, ask them to make a payment within say 24 hours so i'm not quite familiar with with the business of airline ticketing but i'm just giving you these examples so you see that uh, we've been uh, identifying all sorts of use cases but this is the way it came out now this is not precise and this could contain some logical errors sometimes so this is just uh, an example of sort of brainstorming the set of use cases and actors there's one more uh, final thing to add here I would suspect that the ticketing agent will be able to perform both check schedule and check reservation so these bubbles are not just an isolated uh, use cases for just the customer so therefore uh, we can um, instead of making these additional connections to the same um, uh, the same bubbles we can use this generalization and say that the ticketing agent is capable of as you can see right here i added this generalization association is capable of performing all the tasks available to the customer and i suspect also that the airline staff would, could also perhaps or may be able to access some of these tasks but right now uh, with with an idea regarding primary and secondary actors in the system uh, you you probably don't need to like you know cross this uh, after all we place these primary actors and secondary um, actors on two different sides of the diagram for the purpose of cl clearly separating sort of like primary use cases and secondary use cases in the system but you know primary and secondary is is a is a is a, a bit of a um, ambiguous uh, description because uh, without these use cases nothing else will be possible in the system so we may also requalify this airline staff as a uh, primary actor in the system but nevertheless I hope this gives you an idea of uh, 
uh, of the possibilities here. And I think the trickiest part of this UML diagram is my decisions about extensions of these use cases. So think about this as um, you're canceling the reservation and the result is adding to a waiting list. But this may be conditional. So this happens and this may or may not happen. And notice the direction of this of the arrows of extensions are from the extension to the to the main part. So this is the main part. And so it sometimes it looks a little confusing. It it seem it may seem like things originate over here, but that's not true. Things originate right here and they uh, and they may conditionally be extended by something else. It's like you can consider this to be like an event happening during this. So this is happening and then it stops and something else starts to 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 execute and upon completion we go back to this bubble and complete this this um, process right here so that's that's an idea behind an extension